this is Natalie here with Saturday Stretching Volume 1. This is another thing that we're going to be doing for the next couple of weeks just to help you guys kind of stay limber, have a little bit of fun. Don't forget to um, post some videos of you guys stretching. I really miss seeing everyone. It's really lonely here at the gym all by myself. Um, I need to see some kiddos' faces. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and warm up because you should never stretch without warming up your muscles first. So we're going to do some jumping jacks, some squat jacks. Maybe some arm circles and stuff just to kind of get the blood flowing through our limbs. Let's start out. Let's do 20 jumping jacks. We'll do 10 regular and 10 squat jacks. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jumping jacks are really good about getting the blood flowing because you're moving those arms, you're moving those legs. Let's keep those arms moving though and do some arm circles. So, arm circle forward. And back. Maybe swing them back and forth. See if you can touch your shoulders. All right, now we're gonna take our arm. It's gonna go all the way across our body. We're gonna pull it in towards our shoulder. Now, if it doesn't touch your shoulder, that's okay. Keep tugging on it. You want some resistance in that shoulder. If it does touch your shoulder, see if you can kind of pull your shoulder back, but don't twist your hips. Just keep um, the stretch in your shoulder. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. We're going to take the other arm. It's going to go all the way across our body. We're going to take our arm. We're going to pull it in towards our shoulder. Again, if it doesn't touch your shoulder, that's okay. Just keep giving it a gentle tug and it will eventually get there. If it is touching your shoulder, again, just keep giving it a gentle tug so that you feel a little resistance in that shoulder. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job, guys. Roll those shoulders out. And back. Take one hand. You're going to pat yourself on the back. Once you're patting yourself on the back, you're going to take your hand and grab that elbow and see if you can pull it behind your head. If you don't feel a stretch, see if you can also look up towards the ceiling while you're doing this. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Other hand. Take your hand, pat that back, grab your elbow, and see if you can tug that elbow behind your head. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job, guys. Now we're going to reach up high towards the sky. You should feel a stretch in your back. And then go down and see if you can touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Keep reaching. Remember, you're bending from your hips, not your back. If you're bending from your back, you're never going to touch those toes. Make sure you're keeping your back straight and are bending straight over from your hips. Okay? Don't bend from your back. Bend from your hips. And that's going to help you get lower to the ground. If you can touch the ground, if that's really easy, see if you can grab behind your ankles and pull that head in towards your knees. Hold one, two, three. Don't let your knees bend. If they're bending, you're too low. Straighten them out and come up a little bit, okay? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20.
any. Good job, guys. Butterfly stretch. So we're going to come down into our butterfly. Give it a good flap. All right. Now we are going to do a couple of stretches here in our butterfly. For this one, keep your feet in as close to your bottom as you can. You're going to cup your hands around your toes and you want your belly button to come and touch your feet, okay? So keep it in really tight. Don't let them scoot out. Keep it pulled in as tight as you can and lean from your hips. Again, we're not stretching from our back. We're stretching from our waist and lean in. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good job, guys. Slap that butterfly a little bit more. So you probably should have felt that one in your lower back, a little bit into your bottom. This one's going to stretch a few different muscles. So you're going to push your feet out a little bit. You're going to take your hands and put them under your ankles. And this time, instead of your belly button towards your feet, you're going to try to make your head touch your feet. Go down, take your nose, and try to smell your toes. Here we go. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, guys. Shake out those legs. Go ahead and get into your pike position. Again, when we're doing this pike stretch, we want to make sure we're not bending our from our back. We're bending from our waist, so we're leaning forward. So let's see if you can touch your toes. If that's really easy, see if you can touch the floor in front of your toes. Maybe even get your head to touch your knees. If that's really easy, what I like to do is take my hands and put them behind my head and grab my toes and put my head on my knee like this. One, two. Again, if these knees come up, push them down and come back up. You're too far. If you can't touch your toes without bending your knees, it's okay. Push them down and just reach for those toes. Don't cheat with those knees. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very nice stretching, guys. All right, let's go ahead and go into our straddle position. So when we straddle, you're going to put your legs as far apart as you feel comfortable doing. Um, remember, if it hurts, you should probably not be that far. You should probably come back in a little bit, okay? All right. So I'm going to go like this. Now, when we're stretching, it's really important not to let your toes come forward and touch the floor, okay? Um, it's going to cheat you on your stretch. If you're not stretching right, you're not going to gain flexibility. Um, there's no point in stretching if you're not going to do it right. So make sure that you're really focusing and making sure that your body's in the right position. If you're cheating and letting that knee bend and come up like this, you're not gaining any flexibility. So there's really no reason for you to be stretching. All right. We're going to take our arms. We're going to lean towards the side again. Do not let that knee creep up. Keep them down. If you can't touch your toe, that's okay. Just keep leaning, keep reaching for that toe. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, guys. We're going to go towards that other knee. Again, don't let that knee creep up on either side. Don't let it bend. Don't let that toe touch. If you can't touch your toe, that's okay. Just keep leaning. And the more you stretch and the more you practice stretching, the lower and further you'll go. It takes a lot of time to get really good at stretching. You have to practice all the time and make sure that you're stretching right. And then eventually, if you keep practicing, you'll be able to do some really cool stretches. So we're going to lean. Reach. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, guys, now this is the really important one, not to let those toes roll forward and cheat. If you can't put your head on the ground, your chest on the ground, that's okay. Make sure you're reaching with those hands, though, okay? Don't let those toes rock forward. If anything, think that you have, like, a rubber band on your toes, and you're pushing those toes this way. Don't let them rock forward. Keep pushing them back. We're going to lean forward. We're going to go hands. If you can, elbows. If you can, see if you can lay your belly, but don't let those toes come forward. Keep pushing them back. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now take your toes and make them point straight straight up towards the ceiling. You should feel a little bit different stretch. We're gonna stay down here for 20 more seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo, good job guys. Kinda shake those legs out, loosen them back up. Do you feel all stretched out? My legs feel stretched out. All right, let's go ahead and do some back stretches now. So we're gonna be doing some cobras, some back bends. I hope you're ready. All right, so we're gonna start out with the cobra stretch. Now the cobra stretch is when you're not pushing with your hands. You're stretching with your back and just leaning up as far as your back can go. You can put your hands down for balance but you're not pushing with your arms. That's a different stretch. So you're just lifting as high as you can without using your arms. You should be able to pick your arms up, no problem, and not move your back at all. Let's hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Great job, guys. All right, let's go ahead and push up into our seal. This is where you are using your arms to kind of get more of a bend. You can even walk your hands in closer to your body to kind of lift it up. You can also try to make your toes touch your head if you want. We call this our mermaid stretch in class. Let's go ahead and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo, good job guys. Go ahead and push back into your child's pose or as we like to call it in class, cat. 